So today's episode, we finally have our first crossbred uh, genetically engineered creature here, the Eldritch Insectoid. Uh, 72% progress, so I've been changing some of the stockpiles and some of the work priorities in the background here just before we started. Um, it could go really well, or it's going to go horribly. But either way, I think it'd be pretty funny. So the other thing I've done then, like I said, is switched some of the work priorities around. I've added them uh, all of the extract genes to this gene extraction bench. I've set them to do it 10 times or until we've got 10 in storage and then on pause when we've only got two left. That way we've always got a nice genetic stock available to us to experiment with. With the other one, we've just got it churning out the empty incubators. I figured we didn't need two benches, you know, with all of those same jobs. Plus, it would take me about an hour to set it all up again. The only other thing I've done is I've changed this stockpile as well to basically be the container for all of the biological products. So, um components we've got things like organic pulp nutrient solution nutramine things like that things that need refrigerating but are sort of the um the more what's what's the word for it like medicinal based stuff the more um uh delicate science based stuff let's put it that way that's where all of that is going to be hidden in here inside this little uh little refrigerated storage area now we do have an exotic goods trader which we should probably send our boy don it to go and check out if you don't mind okay um what do we want to buy then what do they even have worth buying? They've got lots of hive data, microchips. Uh, they do have some... Oh, glitz world medicine wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay. Healing mech serum. That one gets rid of any incurable health conditions, right? There's also a resurrector. So completely restart someone who's died. You know what? I feel like having two of those in storage is definitely a good idea. Now, they have one of the very, very OP bionic arms. So I'm going to try and buy that as well, if possible. The only way you can get these very overpowered ones is by training with traders. So they are very rare. Um, this is the second one we've seen in the entire playthrough. So now that we've got the option to do that, I am going to grab that. They've also got a hauler base station, which I'm going to take. The Elder Scones, which is a... Right. Okay, so that is a melee training arcade cabinet, so I'm not too bothered about getting that one. You get them a jukebox, a mega screen television, there's like a lot of good stuff they're selling, eh? Um, maybe some of the mechanoid parts and the hive data, mainly because I'm not going to be using that for quite some time. Uh, we might as well sell those. Basically, we're just trying to be able to buy everything that we've uh, put on the uh, buy order here. Sell them our shells. Honestly, the mortars are completely useless. I think one of the cluster mortars might actually be a lot more useful for the base when the automatic ones. It means we're not also tying up a colonist in uh, in manning it. So we could sell them all the titanium. In fact, we've got so much titanium, I'm kind of happy to sell them whatever we've got to cover the bill. If we do that, they owe us... Um, we want to basically get all of their gold from them, don't we? So I'm going to say minus, what is that, like roughly 800 or so? Oh god, that's way too much. 700? How, how much? So that's going to give them... Okay, so it's like 6... 600, no, we want like 550, man, this titanium's worth a fortune, okay, that'll do, we're not only we're taking all their gold, but we're getting their best stuff there as well, we are getting the advanced bionic arm, we're getting the hauling bot, the first one we've got for the entire colony, just to uh, help tidy things up there, hey, that's going to be pretty good, right, we could do with a, a proper robot wing to the base, so what I'm going to do, the expansion idea, is we're going to have an area for robotics, so the hauling bots for the, for the AI assembler, we'll have an area for cloning, We'll have an area for genetics, so for incubation and actually these gene pods as well. And then a living area. So we'll have like four wings on this huge base. And that's going to take a long time before we get there though, isn't it, right? I should probably not plan out too far ahead because we are going to need to reclaim all, a lot of the map. We'll probably build on this side of the river um, just to start off with and then move in later on depending on how much room we need. But that's going to be very, very late game stuff. But that's sort of the general plan, right? Um, let's get this shit installed then, by which I mean, let's get the hauling bot set up somewhere kind of convenient. Like, here probably wouldn't hurt, because then it's got access to basically all the base. It, it's sort of centralized there, so that's not a bad idea. Now, what we also want to do is get this advanced bionic arm installed into Donuts as well. He's already got one of them in the right shoulder. So, in his left shoulder, we need to replace the, the home-built bionic arm we've got and replace it with a very, very powerful one. This is going to make him quite strong. Like, actually, a little bit maybe too OP. Right, left shoulder. Um, install bionic arm. Left shoulder. Right, okay. That's that's pretty decent. Wait, no, that's bionic arm. No, no, no. Advanced bionic arm. Where is that? Uh, advanced bionic arm. Install advanced bionic arm right shoulder. No, we want to install it in the left shoulder game. Advanced bionic arm right shoulder. No, no, I don't want to do that. Install advanced bionic arm left shoulder. Right, there we go. Okay, good. Hopefully that's the right bionic arm, because I'm sure in storage we probably already have some advanced bionic arms. Oh my god, we do. This could take one or two attempts before I actually get the right one, unfortunately. Oh, man, this is going to be such a pain in the ass. What if I forbid them? Will they not show up on the surgery options then? Let's try it. Uh, what else have we got? We've got, uh, apparently steel heavy, but so we've got spines there, eyes there, 
exoskeleton suit. You could also do with one of those as well. Um, what else has he got? So he's got the legs. He's got one powerful leg, one regular leg. So let's try this arm. Let's install an exoskeleton suit as well into his torso. So that's not going to replace anything else. Um, he has one advanced barnacai. Do we have any other advanced barnacais while we're taking a look at this? Now we've got spine. Advanced barnacai. Nice. We have two more. Sweet. So we might as well give another one in his other eye. So install it in his left eye. Um, advanced barnacai. Oh my god. There's so much to go through. Where is it? Install advanced Bionic eye, there we are, left eye, perfect. Now hopefully that's going to install the decent arm. If it doesn't, we could just stop the... Wait, prioritize operating on Donuts. You can't do that, you liar. Um, if it starts being the wrong arm that we're operating for, I will stop the surgery and we'll try and get the right one. So we'll send quite largely over... Prioritize operating, like I asked for. There we go, okay. There we go, so it is the right one. Sweet, please don't fuck this up. Those things are so expensive. Oh, we actually did it. Oh man, his manipulation is going to be so fucking high now. He's going to be extremely overpowered. Um... We'll have to wait until he's off the anesthetic, unfortunately. Right. There we go. There's the eye installed as well. And now we're just waiting on the exoskeleton. Okay, feeding him up. Good, good, good. Thank you very much. I thought that was a raid then. Oh, my God. It hatched. I feel disgusted. Armored Chthonian lava. What did we breed that with? Was that... A, that was an insect and the Chthonian demon, wasn't it? Oh, God. Well, there it is. It hatched. Oh, it doesn't have any animation, which is a little strange, but there it is. I mean, that's horrible. I wish I wish you'd never have done that. Oh, God. Okay, um, train it to be a battle lava, I guess. And we'll also let it do some... No, no, just train it Just train it for battle. Honestly, we'll just send it at any raiders or mechanoids that turn up. They, they probably won't come back if they see that thing charging at them. Jesus, what a mess. Um, okay, what should we go for next, then? Um, Eldritch Thrombo sounds incredible, but that, I mean... Are there any thrombos on the map? We can go to all the wildlife tabs, see what we can find here. Um, Shall we can't get an eldritch dinosaur. We could also crossbreed some of the other ones. For like a wolf dinosaur. Or like, um... What else can we get? Let's go to the dinosaur pod, see what we can actually get out of this. Dino thrombo. Again, thrombos, I think, crossbred with everything would be incredible. Dino insectoid. Okay. Dino chicken. Um... Right. We've got dino boomalope. Um, we've got to do it, haven't we? Have we even got any boom lights on the map? I don't think we have. That'd be a bit of a shame. Um, no, we don't. We could always go, like, Dino Deer. Um, you know, we'll, we'll come back to this later on. Right now, I want to make sure that the whole genetic, uh, the whole bionics thing is going as, as planned. Then we'll crossbreed something else. What a mistake. That thing is disgusting. Maybe we should keep it locked up. I'm not even sure if it's... Is it not going to be, like, extremely vicious? It's not. It's not tamed or anything, though. Well, thank God it's born into our faction, because if that thing came out untamed, we would be in a, in a kind of a big problem, eh? Ugh, I can't get over how gross that thing is. Muffalos? Hello. Um, oh, pack animals. Shit, I was about to have you boys executed. Right, uh, yeah, let's focus on Donuts for now. I was going to send him off training, but, but uh, let's, let's wait for him to be done. So he is got exoskeleton suit. Incredible. Two advanced barnic eyes, two advanced barnic arms, a cybernetic stomach, an advanced barnic spine, two barnet legs, a surrogate kidney. He's moving... Is, oh my god, 342% manipulation, 456%. Consciousness is down because his blood filtration is shitty because of his surrogate kidney. But once we can get the hyperweave, once we find a way to get hyper hyperweave reliably, we can replace that. Or we can just keep it out and actually buy one. That's a little bit of a shame about the whole... Um, we could take a kidney from someone, I guess. We could just wait until we get a prisoner, I suppose, and, and steal a kidney from them. If it's to get Donitz back up to full health, then I'm more than happy to do that. And what we should start doing is taking Grantly Grimble... Um, one of our headcrafters there, and giving him some bionic arms as well. Giving him a bionic spine too probably wouldn't hurt. Um, yeah, let's begin the upgrade program. So you want advanced bionic arm in your left shoulder, advanced bionic arm in your right shoulder. You want an advanced bionic spine. Have we got another exoskeleton suit? I can't see it on the list. This list is actually kind of horrible to look at. Um, some eyes. What do the eyes actually do? Advanced bionic eyes. Let's find them. So I imagine they give, what, like manipulation or, or aiming or something like that. Sight plus 35%. I don't know what that what that will do for us. Um, let's go health. Sight. So sight affects what exactly? I mean, I assume it's everything, right? I assume it's manipulation, aiming, everything along those lines. Where is he being operated on? Why did he not move to the hospital bed? Oh, because he was already asleep. So quite largely, he's like, yeah, sure, we'll just do it in his in his bedroom. It's not very sterile. Oh, it's done it. Sorry, my mistake. Well, at least it's done it's doing it, so you know it's going to work. Man. I'm, I'm interested to see how much of a difference this will make to us. Because his manipulation was just standard, right? Because all he had was a bionic leg. So just with the two arms that we can produce, I'm interested to see how much difference it will make. Um, Donuts, what are you doing? Mining a deep mine. No, no, finish off the surgery. Oh, we need we need more medicine. Are we out of medicine now? 
Well, that'd be pretty bad. We should probably store the medicine in here so I can keep a closer eye on it. Um, let's go storage. And where is medicine? It's under, yeah, medicine and drugs. And then we go to the actual other stockpile. Untick medicine and drugs entirely from this one so that they'll hold it over. And then we'll see what we've got left. I feel like medicine production should probably be our next port of call then. Now, we have finished it, haven't we? Right, okay. So we want to go um, make medicine. One herbal medicine, one neutroamine, and three cloth. Okay. So we'll put that at the top of the bill. Do until we have... Apparently we have 10 in storage already, but we'll do until we've got 50. Now we need to make neutroamine as well. So it's nine per nutrient solution, nine protein mash. It's one neutroamine. Is it, so that is, it, is that one output? Yeah, so nine of those each make one neutroamine. Okay, fair enough. So per medicine, we need nine nutrient solution, nine protein mash. Fair enough. So let's... This is going to be kind of confusing. Okay, so we need a multiple of nine. So we'll go for like... I don't know, we go for like 81, sure. Uh, do until we have 81, that's fine. Uh, apparently we've also got, already got 91 Neutroamine in, in storage. Okay, fine, good. That's okay then, so we, we just need to churn out a bunch of medicine. I don't know why we weren't doing it already. Um, need material, what do you mean? Apparently we already have medicine. We have... Do we have medicine or are you lying to me right now? No, we do have medicine, we have 38 medicine. What the hell else do we need then? Maybe we just don't have the arms? Advanced bionic spine? Advanced bionic, like, oh, we don't have enough arms. Right, because this fucking idiot keeps starting one and not finishing them. Oh, my lord. Okay, I need to keep a close eye on this and make sure they actually finish this off before they do anything else. Oh, look at this. Another one. The steel pheno drill is now finished. So, sorry. My percent reg equals W equals false. R equals, so someone's left their, um, some variable. excuse me, sir, you've left your variables behind? V venipuncture? So this, I assume, takes a copy of their, their genetic information and pass it into the clone vat, right? The issue is right now it's full of, uh, full of mechanoids. So, like I said last episode, we could just leave the mechanoid on the floor. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's just leave him there. Venipuncture on Donitz. I, I, I hope it doesn't kill him. Performs Venipuncture. It doesn't say anything about killing him. Congratulations, Eagle. You volunteered. Oh, there we go. No, it just does, it does some damage to her. Surgical cut. Right, okay, that's absolutely fine then. Um, go and, go and, why are we, why is she sleeping in the recharge station? I don't know. There we go, loading Eagle. 55%. Does she need to do it again? Okay, let's try again, Venipuncture. Boom. How's that, we good? Loading, 100%, there we go. Oh my god, it's actually cloning her, look. Contains, capacity zero out of two, what do we need to fuel it with? Cloning log. Cloning fat to-do list, Pheno drill, one record, okay. Um, requires one meat grinder with enough resources. Oh shit, we need to finish off the meat grinder, so that needs another Gladius. Okay, this is interesting, we'll learn about the other mod then. And we'll decide which one we prefer, and then that will be the, the main set of our cloning facility, right? So we'll make another Gladius, get Donuts doing that very quickly, thank you. You guys need to finish off your goddamn jobs, because honestly, this is, this is ridiculous. Um, I might even forbid it until they've finished everything, because it's driving me a little bit mad leaving all these half-finished ones on the floor. If something goes monumentally wrong, we have our Resurrector mechs in storage as well. In fact, we should probably put them in here, because they're sort of a medical appliance, aren't they? Um, what do they count as? Uh, res I assume they're on this list. Resurrector mech? No? Uh, items? It's got to be an item. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so Neuro Trainers and Resurrectors can go in there. Genome Sequence Template can also go in there. Same with Brain Scan Template, and then we'll just go and turn it off of this one. So no Brain Scan, no Resurrector or Neurotech, and that sh Oh, we should probably turn off that one too, eh? Um, there we go. Right, good. All right, fine. That should move all of those over. Sweet. The Gladius is finished. This can be constructed. Good. All right. Now all we need is to fill this one with 250. Okay, cool. So Grind Meat... We can grind up corpses. What, human corpses? Oh my god, that's so good. So wait, we can grind up our enemies. It's like I wanted to do all along. We can grind up our enemies and turn them into Eagle Throog. This is incredible. Or we can make more Donitzes, or more Nicks, or more Masons, or some of the other colonists, some of your favorite colonists, including, um, you know, all of the others. So 75 times, um, well, there's not, wait, can you do 250 out of 75? Uh, no. That's not right. Okay, so 70, so that's 150. And we've got 225. So I guess we'll just do it 75 and then 125. No, wait, we can just do it until we've got X, right? Grind meat. Do it until we've got X. No. Multiple unpredictable. Okay. Fuck's sake. Okay, fine. Just just do it. Just do it four times then, because that'll that'll fill it. Right, Donuts. Prioritize grinding meat. Now what's he gonna grind up? Is it just any old meat available? 
So he's getting making it out of fish right now. Okay, good. Right, we'll put it on the lower speed so we can actually keep... He moves so fast, even on speed 3. Look at this man. He's unstoppable. Okay, so we're making an eagle through out of fish. That's that's fine. You know, I've got absolutely no problems with that whatsoever. A rescuing Chthonian lava. What? Yeah, but why can't we... I want to do some more, though. Um... Oh, right, right, that wasn't enough. Oh, so... Just because you're putting 75 meat in doesn't mean that you're going to fill it up. Right, I see. Okay, fair enough. Go on then, finish off that one. Ignore the Chthonian lava, I really don't care about it too much. Right, let's get this done. Hopefully that'll be enough now. Should be. Fish meat times 75, eel meat times 75. So we've got fishy through about to be born. 250 out too many. There we go, we're done. Right, okay, don't bother then. Stop grinding up the meat. Is that... Capacity? Good. Contains nothing. Uh, you can stop now, we're good. Yeah, we're, no, we're fine. Okay, uh, now what? Quality matters. Mixing body park regrow chance, 1 out of 64, 2%. So, sorry? So if Eagle's missing a body part, she can... She, you can regrow in the cloning part? Am I misunderstanding what this does? Okay. Um, clone production will occur in case of registered pawn death. Oh. So you can't... You can't just grow more clones. You have to wait for Igor to die? Is that is that true? All right, okay, here you go, you volunteered. Congratulations. Don't worry, we've got the resurrector. I'll bring him back with the resurrector, but we've got to test whether or not this is actually the case. Um, put it down. Put it down, Dobson. Uh, put it down, Don Dobson. All right, Death Eagle. Uh, oh, there we go. <gasps> it's working. Sweet. Okay, excellent. Right. Uh, Dobson, you're a murderer. You're a horrible, horrible murderer. So then we use the Resurrector Mech. Use it on Igor. Oh, no, no, no. Hauling bot. Fuck's sake. Okay. Hang on. Oh, well, I suppose he's putting her in storage. So that's only a good thing, right? Use Resurrector Mech Serum on Igor. Right. There we go. She's back. Okay. No problem solved. Now, it's good. Probably have cleared her work log, I imagine. Yeah, that's a bit of a pain. Besides that, though, she's good. Um, you should probably also rescue her. Take her to, take her to a hospital bed. Or, or just put her in a regular bed. Oh, no. There she is. We're good. Right. Okay. You're fine. You're healthy. She's got resurrection sickness, which is understandable, but she's absolutely fine besides that. She's come back exactly how we left her. The only downside is we've lost the uh, thing. Wait. No, the cloning the cloning isn't carrying on. Oh. Uh, 26 remote. Right. Contains nothing. So, what you're telling me is... Wait, What? So, what we'd have to do is kill Eagle, leave her in the freezer until the other clone is grown, and then resurrect her, right? Is that the only way we can do it with this machine? That doesn't seem very practical at all. Um, so, this cloning vat, not really very useful at all. It's, it's not really a cloning vat. It's a uh, reservation vat, might be a better way of putting it, you know? So, if our clone dies, we can immediately get another one, but we're losing our old clone anyway. So, that's not really helping much. I mean, it's good. don't get me wrong, it's pretty good and quite overpowered in some ways, but it's not what I was looking for. I want to clone an entire army of Throughs, and that's not really helping. Well, I guess we're back to the old clone back, which I'm not a big fan of, because it's, it's a lot of work. But if you're growing a whole new person, I can't really complain too much, eh? Okay, fine. Uh, we've tested it. I don't like it. We, we could always keep a clone of Donuts in reservation, just in case anything happens. So yeah, that's just completely cleared that then. Uh, that's a bit of a shame. All right. Um, I mean, we will keep this thing around because it's useful, like I said, to have a clone of Don. It's always waiting to go. Um, in the meantime, I think we just put down a bunch of other clone vats. So let's get down like, oh, I say a bunch of. We can have two more. Um, why don't we chat out some robots then? So what I'm thinking, we can have a couple of different armies. We could have like a clone army. We could have uh, an AI deathbot army. And then we can also have a horrible eldritch monstrosity army of a bunch of crossbreed breed creatures. You know, send in some Eldritch Boomalopes and kill them all. Send in some Eldritch Thrombos and kill them all. Uh, you know, to that effect, etc, etc. Uh, so I think these clone vats, unfortunately, as much of a pain in the ass as they are, are the best ones that we've got. Mainly because we can just sort of leave it and forget it. The downside is they are quite volatile, as we've seen. There's, there's a low chance of the clone actually being successful. But if we've got enough of them, some will stick, right? That's the plan, anyway. Oh, I'm an idiot. I realise why we aren't able to operate on Gretlin Grimble. Um, probably because I forbid the Bionic Arms when we were operating on uh, Donuts. Yeah, no, that would make sense. I wonder how many of you were screaming at your screen at the start of that. Alright, there we go, problem solved now. Are you, are you good? Oh, look at this. Gretlin Grimble, a significant upgrade there. Chode Smelly is apparently being... What? Oh, there's a Lynx. I, I honestly thought the Devil Sheep had gone insane and started attacking Chode Smelly. We'll take it out, Chode. You're good. Now, what we can do... This is a pretty decent idea, I think. Our 
currently our brawlers are useless, right? They're not doing anything, especially Dave. Dave is completely fucking useless, as is Dave. But Quite largely and and Chode Smirtly can't use weaponry. They're brawlers. So what we could do is begin the cloning operation and begin the uh, tissue growing vat, right? And implant them with, you know, bear claws. W w w were bear claws on those? Yeah, bear claws. Give them some bear claws. Give them some venomous fangs, wolf muscle fibers, you know, that type of thing. And actually turn them, if, if they're only going to fight with melee, why don't we turn them into, like, wolverines, you know? Animal implant miniature. So this is for... Oh, so these are separate implants for animals. Mechanoid spine. Oh, shit. So not only are we cloning two animals together and splicing them and creating these new horrific creatures, we can actually go as far to implant those crossbred creatures with more stuff as well. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, do we have anything that we could, we could give them right now? I don't think we do, do we? Insect mandibles. What do we require for that? Requires one animal implant insect mandibles. So that's uh, one implant, so one insectoid genetic material. Oh shit, you just need the genetic material alongside uh, the wire mesh. But the wire mesh you can actually also make from this. There we go. So it's plastic, uranium components, that type of thing. Oh man, this mod is a lot, lot deeper than I thought in that case. We're going to have to try and do some experimentation and see which are the best creatures we can clone then. Oh, that's ridiculous. All right, fair enough. So I think that mechanoid's still fine, yeah? It's, it's stopped flying around, at least, which is something. No, no, it's still flying around. Um, what we should do is... Can we upgrade Eagle with, like... Should we turn her into our sort of bionic monstrosity? Or, or not a bionic one. Donis is the bionic one. We'll turn her into the um, the crossbred monstrosity. So we'll implant her with a load of animal shit. Um, what, can we, what can we give her again? Let's take a look. So what's the recombiner? Um, recombine genes requires five ingredients. I'm not sure what that is for, but we'll worry about that later. So why don't we give Eagle through like wolf muscle fibers, venomous fangs, the thrombo horn, everything, right, and turn her into the monster. We can't really implant it with, with, can we just implant it with these things? Are these just for animals, aren't they? I think these are just for your, your colony creatures. I don't think there's, I don't think we can like crossbreed her with uh, an eldritch monster now. We could, hang on, can we not kill her and then do a humanoid, because I noticed on this bench, if we go to this one, there's extract humanoid genes. What do we do with that? If not to crossbreed it with horrible creatures. Um, is it like dino bears? Okay, no, none of those are human crossbreeds. Wait, a human? No. What do we do with those then? Maybe maybe they're part of the tissue growing vat? Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that. Human implants require the humanoid genetic... Right, okay. So that might be something useful for the clones to do, is uh, die and provide us with some genetic material. Either that or we're, we're going to have to go raiding. All right. I see what we've got to do now. The plan is quite simple. We make ourselves a death bot army. We send it settlement to settlement, capturing as many people as possible, bringing them back to base, and either grinding them into meat for clones, or we turn we extract their genetic engineering and 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 implant it into into Eagle Throog. It's it's perfect. It's perfect in every way. Okay then, uh, begin the death bots. Yes, good. Uh, well, I was kind of hoping that would be a bit more, you know, explosive when I said begin the death bots. Sorry, we've got to wait for Donuts to uh, bring the stuff over first. Did that links get back up? Well, it's obviously not going to get up anymore. It's, it's been shot to death quite thoroughly. Okay, um, Donuts begin the... Uh, we need more steel and more silver, so let's get him on this immediately. I might even build a shit ton of AI assemblers and just constantly be churning out a load of robots, because we can build a lot of these, right? I'm going to have to manually do it each time, because he's too busy at the deep mine, eh? Okay, that's, that's fine, though. We started. Okay, here we go. This will generally take some time. So what it's doing now is it's using up the silver and the steel that we filled it with to create us the, the robot, obviously. Now, the good thing about the robots is you don't have to immediately activate them. You can keep them in deep storage until you're ready for them to be activated. So I'll, sh I'll show you when it's done, but it'll basically spit out almost like... um. Almost like some furniture you you can install. Except when you install it, it turns into basically a colonist. But it's, you know, it's a robot, right? Oh, uh, there it is. Mobile AI. Inactive. So, you can also use the AI Persona cores. I talked about this before. You can install those into the robots and make them um, quite powerful. But obviously, you know, we're quite far away from anything like that. So, let's install you. Um, let's, inst let's just install you and see if you actually work. So, Donuts, raise... Oh, wait. The hauling bot is installing robots. Well, no, we've got robots. We've got robots moving robots. Okay, fair enough. There we go. And then we go, Bills, uh, activate mobile AI male or activate mobile AI female, obviously. Um, or the advanced AI, but that requires the AI persona core. Let's... 
Let's just make a male AI. Why not? I don't, I don't really see why not. Okay. There we go. I don't know if one gender is particularly better than the other, but there it is. My active. The first robot we've ever got. Mobile artificial intelligence. It's crappy. Like, it's really crappy. It's incapable of violent, social, artistic, and inca incapable of violent? No, that's not right. That's not right at all. Um, it's very generically good at everything, but really not very good at much, to put it politely. Why is Euphrates completely reset as well? Uh, excuse me? Did I never set him a work priority? Oh my god, what a fool. And we also need to reset up Igor as well. Is she alright? Just got resurrection sickness. Okay, fair enough. That might take some time to... You know what? It was for, it was for research. What is it doing? Oh my god, it's building more genetic stuff. Uh, you know what, robot? Can you power down for now? Uh, add bill. How do we shut it down? I, I didn't want to wake you up yet. Um, whoops. I guess so now we've got to deal with the robot. I mean, it doesn't matter too much, right? They just recharge with, with power. And power is one thing we have shit tons of. You know what? Fair enough. Welcome aboard, robot. Now, I think... So that we can start work on the other plan. The, the, the invasion with the death bots. I think we build a big wing on the base. Like, I'm talking like this large. Fill it with nothing but automatic AI assemblers. And just churn out an AI army. You know what we could do? We could also replace this fishing platform with it. Or something like that. Or... Yeah, because I want to keep it as close to the stockpile as possible until I can, you know, do a full base rework. Um, let's we cancel the clone vats and just put down a couple more of these for now. We haven't got the genetic material to clone people with anyway, so why not just go full attack of the clones, eh? Please don't sue me, George Lucas. Can we do that? Will that work? I don't know if that's enough room for them, but that's, that's going to be able to churn out a fair amount of... Oh, no, that one's not going to work because it's blocked off at that point. Right. Um, we could do it like that, though, I think. This could be good. I like the idea of the Deathbot army. I think before we do that, though, we have to research on this one. Oh my god, we've almost finished advanced mechanoid extraction as well. So we can we can make mechanoid crossbreeds. That's insane. Um, before we get to that stage, though, I think we need to go to the um, the AI research and turn on. So we've got AI combat tactics. So that's what we want. Uh, let's do that before we do absolutely anything else, because this is how we're going to found our Deathbot army, right? Um, we could also set them to social crafting, that type of thing, but but just for now, the combat tactics are more than enough. And then, what was it we were working on? The, the Mechanite uh, Genetic, uh, what was it, Advanced Mechanite Bio-Integration? There it was, right, good. And we'll queue that one up as well afterwards, just to finish it off. Oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be so cool. This might be a horrible mistake. Let's do it. Activate. Output block... Okay, so which one can't... Oh, so it is that one that can't work. I kind of expected that. So we could just reinstall that, like, somewhere else, I guess. Um, we could put another one there and move these things over. The, the recharge base. Because we're not going to use them until we've actually activated the robot army anyway. So I'm going to put these uh, sort of adjacent to the nuclear reactor here. Because, you know... what? How better way to charge your murderous death bots than directly via a nuclear fusion plant, right? Reinstall that there. And then we'll move you to here. And then we'll build another copy as well, just to make it look nice. I love that we can hook Vitals monitors up to that. It's pretty convenient. Right. Building Hydroponics Basin, feeling, feeling lavish mill to Eagle. We've almost finished the big Hydroponics Basin. Um, we need to run a cable basically down the middle of it so everything can connect up to it. But besides that, we're pretty much good to go, I think. Right, there we go. We'll just finish that off as well. That should, that should be able to provide power to all of them. There we go. They've already got all power anyway, but I'll just do it for posterity's sake there. All right. That needs to be reinstalled to here. Oh my god, the hauling bot is the one building the AI for us. So you only need to be able to haul to activate these things. Uh, output. Oh, because of the steel. Shit, yeah, they can't be built on these steel platforms. Right, okay, that's a little bit annoying. Um, well, there's no way to do this without making the lab look fucking hideous. I might even get rid of this for now. And we'll come back to this mod later on. We'll just uninstall the meat grinder because, you know, the less we can waste, the better. Um, come and deconstruct these for us. You know what? I'm all about the, the, the death bots these days. So we'll reinstall that. Um, I guess. Oh, no. We can't put it on the steel, though. Fuck. Ah. I hate it. Um, I mean, we could replace... Okay. Put this area here. Right? Put this bit here. Um, let's go ahead and copy the settings from that one. Paste into Sorry, Mechanoid. I know, I know we're, we're disturbing your rest there. And we'll put these on the other side as well. So, reinstall that to here. And then we'll build as many copies as we can in this area too. Um, this is going to look hideous. But again, I'm just doing it so we can get a, a number of robots ready to go without blocking the lab off too much. There we go. Alright. Um, that one needs to be reinstalled so that we can only put them on the steel. Oh my god, the robot was fueling the robots then. This is good. Because the more robots we have, the more resources we can get from quarries. And the more... Resources we can get, the more robots we can build. And then with those robots, we put them to work, building more robots. 
It's genius. This is this is galaxy brain level meme. All right. Um, what left once? We just need actually someone quickly come and uh, finish these things off. There we go. Boop, boop, boop. And activate all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight death bots. Ready to go. Do we have to finish that? Oh, the research is finished. Oh, shit. That's going to be good. Hang on. Can we do that now with the Scyther? Uh, extract genes from Mecha... Mech... Mech... Mechanoid. Don it. No, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. No, no. Move that to the top. I want to see this before we before we finish up for today. Extract genes. Yes, do it. No. Excuse me? What do you mean? Uh, does it have to be dead? Maybe it has to be dead first. Sorry, pal. Um, your time has come, my friend. There we go. <gasps> Yes, mechanoid genes. Wait, can we make a mechanoid eldritch? Uh, no. Well, that's a shame. I was going to say, that would be ridiculous, wouldn't it? What about dinosaur mechanoid? Um, nothing there. All right, and the, with the regular gene pod? Mech, mecha, mechanoid wolf, mechanoid thrombo. Holy shit, that's going to be the future. What about a mechanoid insectoid? They're, they're already kind of like that, aren't they, with the centipedes? So, I'm thinking we go mechanoid. What have we got on the map? What's it, what would be a good crossbreed? Um... Shame we really can't do the dinosaur crossbreeding. That would be incredible. Ah, uh, maybe there's a patch on the Steam Workshop. I'll go and have a look before we before we really commit to this. There might be another patch to make all the separate mods work together as one big cohesive mod. We've got robots building robots. We've got the Deathbot army ready to go. All we need now is to build a shit ton of weapons for them. That's a really good idea, Brain. So what do we need? So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Deathbots. Need a weapon. I don't think this one is going to be ever capable of violent because we didn't have that done before it was built, you know? Um, so, I think we need to go bills. We need to go make charge rifles. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I'm going to have to research charge rifles. I'm going to send them in. Eight death bots with charge rifles to the closest settlement. Kill them all. Bring the prisoners back here. And then extract their genes and, and insert them into Eagle Throog to build the ultimate weapon. Ah, Rimworld. <laughs> Survival game at its finest. Thank you all for watching. I feel like I've made big progress today in learning how some of these mods work. I'm really interested to see how this Deathbot army works as well. I think that's going to be really, really fun. I'm going to give a shout out to all of my insane top tier level patrons for making this series possible. Big thank you to Big Dick Timmy, Zachary Harris, Tariq, Lucas Alting, Sean Thornton, Haydog, Sidini, Paul, Necrophilin, Croesus, I'm the Lizard King, Jocelyn, Dean Tesla, Michael Mullen, Tyler Birch, Jacob Alexander Fenton, Pelvis Presley, Logan Thorne, Conspired C, Orcs Wolf, Average Gamer 419, Escape, Zazzy1711, and Jackson Wibben for the support of the Insane Tier Levels on Patreon. Thank you all for making the series possible. And as well to Nathaniel Lindbergh, Brennan Wintoniak, Euphrates, Facundo Vasquez, Paul Master, Quasar Fox, Jack Allen, Gabriel Vandez, Llewellyn Thomas, Nathan Flores, Yon DeVries, John Connie 27, Zach McDougall, Joseph Beard, Jordan Campbell, Harry McGowan, Chris, Sir Thor the Swede, Asaro, Nick, Fraser Brennan, The Insane Pickle, Adam Person, Eagle, Kozak. If you guys want your names in the series, please let me know to the patrons. And then after the patrons add all their names, I'm going to open it up to the floor onto YouTube. So we do need to name some robots. So uh, we'll, we'll pick that up from there next episode.